The timing is good, and I'm going to say this because I, one of the things I don't think happens often enough in our society, in part because it doesn't happen uh, so often that we have uh, public figures who stand up, who uh, uh, put their, you know, set their feet squarely forward and say, uh, "This is this is nonsense. We have to be fact based. We have to be rational, and this nonsense has to end." Uh, James Inhofe has been such a man over the past uh, six, seven years. Uh, he sometimes stood absolutely alone uh, and uh, was demonized, vilified, uh, ridiculed uh, uh, by the national media. Uh, he stands now in 2010 as a man utterly vindicated uh, and uh, for whom I think everybody needs to you know, extend a round of applause. Uh, Senator Inhofe, thank you very much for being with us today. Thank you so much. You got it. You take care. Now, you know, there, it, it's funny. He, he, the national media never likes to give credit where credit is due uh, because of the politics, the, the cant, the bias. Uh, but, I mean, really, this man uh, at, at many junctures was absolutely singular. He was absolutely alone in resisting a wave of uh, popular fadism, uh, which was climate change and global warming. Uh, so I sincerely mean that. He deserves uh, a, a great deal of, uh, of uh, both uh, applause and respect for what he has done.